So hello everyone. So we are here, myself, Dr. Abdul Nasir, your microbiology faculty, and Ayan Agarwal, right? Who has got an amazing rank of rank thirty, just three zero thirty in this November INSS two thousand twenty four. So with that, first of all, I heartily congratulate congratulate Ayan from my side and also from entire DBMC family. So thank you so much, sir. Yeah, so Ayan has uh, hit a six in the INS set boundary ke bahar ball, and uh, I know Ayan how you are feeling by getting this rank in INS set, but we want to hear from you, please. Uh, yes, sir. Like uh, it's a very hmm. happy feeling, and I'm feeling very elated. Like my parents and friends are equally happy, so it's a really great feeling overall. Yeah, that is very nice to hear from you. So Ayan, how did you prepare? Whether have you prepared from the app recorded classes or live classes or from the face to face classes? What was your mode of preparation? Um, sir, so I joined DBMCI in my third year, and okay. uh, I used the DBMCI live uh, classes on the app. Um, okay. So like uh, uh, my third year and as well as my final year, I completed my third year itself using the DBMCI live classes. Okay, so Ayan has prepared from live classes, right? DBMCI live classes from third year onwards. So, right. Ayan, how did you find live classes, and whether you recommended live classes or you want to recommend face-to-face -face or app-based classes, whatever? How? What is your experience with live classes? Mm, so, so like live classes, they I found they were uh, very interactive, and okay. uh, in live classes, I found the content to be quite concise as compared to recorded ones. So, okay. so like it was uh, basically easier to revise that content in a short span of time. Okay, so in live classes, content is concise, yes, sir, and easy to prepare. So you are fully yes, satisfied sir. with the live classes. Um, yes, sir. And sir, yeah. if uh, someone is no. able to do to attend face to face classes, then I think it's even better. Okay, so your experience, you are satisfied with live classes. Now, yes, from your side, you can recommend live classes to your juniors or to your friends and all. Yes, sir, definitely. Apart from live classes, what else you suggest the students to do who are joined live classes? Um, so sir, like uh, they should first attend the whole live class, and like if they are not able to, then they can watch the recorded session later on. Like if that's some work. No, or what you have, like what you have done yes. along with the live class, apart from live classes. Yes. So sir, so like uh, uh, when I used to attend a live classes, I used to make uh, my own notes, and uh, then I used to revise them uh, the next day itself, so that uh, like uh, they they get retained in my long term memory, and then like once uh, a section or a uh, like a subject uh, uh, used to get finished, then I used to solve the Q bank of that subject and then give some subject like that also. Okay. Have you, uh, watched any extra content other than live classes from the app, mm -hmm. like an uh, additional things? Have you watched anything in the app apart from the yes. content what you have got in live classes? Um. So, sir, like uh, I watched the uh, previous uh, T and D sessions that are that were there in the app. Okay. Yes, sir. And uh, there was some uh. GT discussion videos also that were there in the app, so I watched them. If in case like I was not able to to understand some question uh, okay. by the explanation. Okay, so what Ayan is recommending for the students who are attending live classes that along with the content what you have covered in the live classes, like you can do question bank. That anyways we are doing apart from that Ayan has done some T N D sessions in the app. So additional things if you do you can do great, right? That is what Ayan has done. And whatever you do, the main important thing is how we have done is very important, right? Okay. See, Ayan has started his preparation from third year onwards, so he had sufficient time to prepare, so he can do more, and he has done more. So, and with that, with that, he has done really great. Thank you. Sir. Okay, Ayan. Now coming to the question bank, right? You have told what you have done. You have prepared along with the live classes. Apart from that, you have done T N D and all. So now, yes, what about the question bank? When you started doing the question bank, and how many questions you are doing? When you started, how many questions you were doing, and whether you were reading the explanations given in the question bank or not? That is the three things you have to answer. So, sir, so like uh, when I started in my third year, I used to solve the whole question bank. So, you know, of uh, after completing a particular subject, and I used to read the explanation only uh, of the questions which I was getting incorrect or which I had no idea. And uh, for the rest, uh, uh, like I just used to skip through the explanation. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. And then uh, during my internship, I mainly used to focus on the uh, neat PG tags that were there in the question bank. Neat PG under like the uh, previous year question tags. Okay. So like I didn't solve the whole uh, question bank in my internship, but before that I used to 
solve the like every each and every question of the q bank okay so now this is very important guys if you listen he has done the question bank yes he had sufficient time he has done question bank in third year final year and all but when he came to internship that is just okay. one year before the exam obviously it is not possible to do all the question bank therefore he focused on the previous year questions mainly and second he was not reading the explanations for all the questions right he was reading the explanations only for those questions for the for which he is not he usually he was not able to understand why it is right or wrong otherwise usually when you have prepared from the live classes or face to face classes most of the questions you will understand why they are right why they are wrong because you have already read in the notes right that's why i always prepare the notes thoroughly and then go for the question bank and no need to read the explanations for all the questions whatever you feel you have to read you can read if you try reading all then the additional content more you are adding to your notes right that will become very difficult yeah that will become bulky right mm -hmm. so this is another key point sir in entrance exam preparation we should not keep the content bulky right right sir it's yeah. very important to be able to revise the whole syllabus in the last week so yeah. if you are able to revise the whole syllabus in the last, last week itself then i think so you'll be able to get a good rank and that won't be possible if you have like lots and lots of content okay now i want to hear from you the students who want to start their preparation from third year like you have started from live classes okay you tell me what you have done in third year what you have done in final year what you have done in internship so so with the dbmc live so mm -hmm. uh, they covered like the third as well as final year and the third year itself so i prepared uh, uh, like notes of my third and final year in my third year itself and okay. then in final year i uh, like i mainly focused on solving questions and uh, like and uh, completing my short subjects also because like i couldn't complete my short subjects in my third year okay so i i was able to complete only my only the major four subjects of final year like okay. me a medicine peds obg and surgery in my third year but the minor subjects i completed in my final year only okay then what about first year and second year subjects oh uh, so first and second year subjects uh, i i had a strong foundation okay. already um so i just uh, like revised the the, mm -hmm. the revision sessions Uh, of mm -hmm. the first and second year subjects uh, during my internship period okay after that yes, internship sir. after after internship um and sir after internship i just went through did you finish your internship and uh, after that how, what did you prepare till the exam so sir uh, i finished my internship this year only in uh, uh, march in march okay. and uh, like so, and from that uh, till the date of the exam i was mainly focusing on doing more and more pyqs and uh, reading my notes reading the important uh, uh, stuff um that's it sir. so guys see what he has done he has told but what we are not not focusing is how ayan has done and ayan has planned very smartly that is very important that is what i'm trying to tell see in third year he focused on third year and final year ka major subjects because you can't do all in one year right yes, that's a very good plan and when he entered into final year he did all the short subjects short right subjects. because whatever we do we have to do it thoroughly it is not just covering the content what you say ayan if you are not sure you can't ask questions to, yeah tell me yes, sir. it's very important to revise what you are learning because uh, if you won't revise then you won't be able to retain anything and uh, pick the, these exams like medical entrance exam neat pg iicpt they are like packed based exams so you need to build concepts as well as you need to retain facts uh, in the long term memory right if so you have, revision is very important yeah if you have to revise then you should not cover more content at once it will become huge yes, to sir. revise so that's why right, see sir. plan how ian has planned it is very smart way i like this plan the third may cover third year and four major years major subjects of final year in final year may cover the small subjects but whatever you are covering you are covering it thoroughly in such a way that you should feel like next no need to read i think i have done it thoroughly and then when once you enter into internship he just went with the revision videos of first year and second year subjects and that is also very nice plan because if you go with the full lectures then it will take a lot of time along with the internship and finally once he finished the internship he worked on the right important topics and the previous year questions and finally he has achieved such a great rank of rank 30 in this ins set so once again i'm telling you planning is very important hard work with a plan is smart work it is a smart work that brings you success as early as possible yes with the hard work you can get success but it takes time right that's why what you are doing is very important but how we have done and that is very important that is where we have to focus and it is very nice and you have planned very nicely i'm very impressed thank with you so much thank you so much okay and then a few lines from me what else you want to say regarding the preparation for your friends or juniors or everyone from your side what do you feel like to say what you want to say your words 
so i think consistency is the main factor like you need to be consistent uh, throughout your preparation period and uh, uh, you shouldn't you shouldn't shy away from doing hard work put in as much effort as you can um, like uh, you will surely get the benefit sooner or later so i am feeling you should be consistent very good yeah. everybody say we should be consistent and we have to be consistent but my question to you ayan right being consistent is not everybody's cup of tea because everybody is different yes, okay how you are consistent that is the question um so sir like uh, uh, in my internship so i did my internship from subdelta hospital and uh, its internship is quite hectic so okay. my uh, so like uh, i wasn't able to revise my notes daily but uh, i used to make sure that i'm at least solving the previous year questions or you know few banks so uh, like mm-hmm. in my free time during internship so let's say if i'm waiting for my lab reports so uh, So mm-hmm. then I can, you know, uh, just do ten to twenty questions in the meantime, and uh, uh, like I can read through the explanations also in the app. So that way you can build consistency if, even if you have a hectic intensive. Okay, I mean you have to fix your mindset that you have to do something at least every day. Yes, sir. Right. I my question: any days went in your life, so on third year till INS it exam that you have not studied anything? Oh, yes, sir. There were a few days. And okay. I think it's necessary to take a break also some days because okay. uh, uh, then you will get a burnout if you like keep studying continuously without a break. But uh, I think breaks are really necessary for your preparation. Yeah, this is also important. Breaks are very necessary, but the length of break is very important. It should not be too long, right? So a small yes. yes, break are very important. Yes, sir. But. whether you are coming back from the break how early you are coming back from the break that is also very important few students when they take the break they went into break only right <laughs> that should not happen right sir okay that is very nice and we are very happy to see and your parents also i know they are very happy in the last yes, stages want to hear from you whom do you uh, thank a lot so i know everybody has contributed in your life that almighty your parents and entire dbmc family right dbmc have live classes are to the next level i know personally so everybody has contributed but specifically whom do you thank with in your family and in the dbmc family um so so like i thank my parents and uh, like in dbmc i personally liked your classes and uh, dr thameem sir's classes and dr jay sir's classes okay so they helped me build uh, like my mm-hmm. surgery and medicine very very strong okay um, yes sir okay that is nice of you ayan and uh, that's it guys so with that you have seen how ian has prepared and very important thing i am telling you the way ian has planned that is very important planning is very important what he has done is very important but along with that how he has done is very important and how he has done that is the thing that has brought ian this rank that is rank 30 we are very happy to uh, you have reached so heights and you have brought thank you so much such a uh, good you have matlab we have brought the flying colors to your life and your family and also dbmc family and once again Thank we are so very much uh, happy to hear your results from the entire dbmc family and all the best for your future ayan thank you so much sir thank you good. so much thank you ayan bye bye thank you sir bye sir